Hey guys, I'm here with Sue. We just finished our ASA class journey. It was seven days of uh, really getting our hands wet, jumping into the class, figuring out exactly what we needed to do um, to be sailors. Um, that's a new uh, chapter for us, and uh, especially for Sue. But uh, we finished all four. Um, we got through ASA 101, 103, 104, and 114. finished the sailing class out of San Diego. Um, we had two days doing uh, ASA 101 basic sailing. Um, we were on a 25-foot uh, Catalina uh, mono hull. Um, it was, uh, the name of the boat was Kilo. And uh, we sailed around in San Diego Bay, really got our, our feet wet, and that was our first time manning the rudder. We switched off. Um, that's where you really kind of grasp everything. Um, we had uh, two other people on our group and everybody worked together well and we all switched off and changed roles as necessary and needed. Um, we took a brief break and uh, we did a lot of uh, sailing in the bay. Uh, there was a lot of uh, traffic out there which is better for real life and trying to figure out you know, right of way and uh, who's under power, who's under sail, and exactly what to do. ASA 114, this was all about catamarans. The book was a little bit smaller, but it was not easier. Um, we actually did the seven day course, and then the two days on a small 25 Catalina, which was really good, and then we jumped on the catamaran on Sunday night with uh, two other crew members. So there was four crew members and one captain, and we went through the whole drill, and we got on the boat, and we were on the boat for five days on a 40-foot uh, Fontaine Peugeot uh, FP. Um, it was really good. I learned a lot.
Okay, we started off with ASA 101. Um, this was just learning the basics from the keel to the rudder to the halyard, just basic sailing, but essentials. Um, we really learned a lot with this one. It was great. And this was mostly learned in person on the 25 foot catamaran monohull. Then we jumped into coastal cruising made easy. This is ASA 103. Um, this was just got a little bit more in depth about, you know, um, how to tack, you know, what to look for is for conditions, um, you know, hands on cruising, what the different buoys mean, uh, you know, red right returning, RRR, can never forget that one. Um, this was a good essential book, that was 103. And then we moved on to 104, Bear Boat Cruising. And um, this one was good to um, get the certification so we can uh, essentially pick up a boat anywhere in the world that accepts ASA certification. And as long as our sailing log is good and our uh, sailing resume has some other boats on it and some other companies, we should have no problem being able to pick up a bare boat anywhere in the world with this book. So this one was good. It went over more of the systems, the different countries, you know, um, lots of different boat styles, yada, yada, yada. Knots was a good one. Um, so that was 104. Then, dun dun dun, the one we're all been waiting for. 114 ASA 114 this was a course that was basically what we wanted and really focused on the catamarans hey guys I'm here with Sue we just finished our ASA class journey of seven days of uh, really getting our hands wet jumping into the class figuring out exactly what we needed to do um, to be sailors um, that's a new uh, chapter for us and uh, especially for Sue but uh, we finished all four um, we got through ASA 101 103 104 and 114 not that easy. Um, yeah. first of all because my first language is Portuguese so uh, was all new word for me this books and everything but uh, yes we did it was a double whammy. Yeah. All new terminology in English, new words, weird and words. Oh God. We, when we start each book, when we finish, we had that. Um, the test. The test was like a hundred questions per book, right? No. Around like that. Something like well, that. Something like that. So, was okay. not just. Um, where's the name? It wasn't just classes. We had to pass tests. Yes. So the tests were a little bit more difficult for you to understand and read. Yeah. But then after we would miss a question, we would go over why we missed the questions to really ingrain why we missed them and learn what the real answer was. And I think that helped out tremendously. For yeah, and the captain was, he helped us a lot too. So I don't remember his name, but he, he helped me a lot with that because he... He saw I was not understand a hundred percent of the what he's saying, but ESL. Yeah. English second language. What was nice? What was hard? Hard to do. One week was really really hard. That's good. I, remember. I learned a lot of things. Yes, and I have uh, I have power boating experience. Um, but sailing is just a whole another ball game. Um, there's no comparison. Only thing I could do is dock a boat, and I have no problem at that. But the sailing aspect, we still need to just learn and, and practice as much as we can. Uh, it just comes with feeling and time and figuring it all out. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, doing some more bare boat charters, uh, checking out different boats, and just jumping on the ocean as much as we can so that we can put our new skills into In real life, yeah, because.